Hi everybody! So I spent a whole day uh, trying to make the Twitter API work and send uh, the real-time stream of tweets from the whole world to Max, uh, filtering them uh, according to some keywords. So basically you have some keywords, like for example Trump and Obama in this case, and you get the real-time stream of tweets that everybody writes in the whole world. First I started to look into JavaScript, but uh, this, was, uh, this was extremely confusing. And then I ended up using Python, which is much easier. So I created a Python script, uh, actually I put it together some, uh, some stuff, modified it a bit. And uh, in the end I achieved the result that I wanted. So we have the name of the person that tweets and the actual tweets with the full text. And all the tweets are actually encapsulated inside a dictionary that you can, uh, it's a JSON object that can be encapsulated inside a dictionary, Max. And also I spent quite some time trying to parsing out the full text of the tweets, which uh, sounds like trivial, but somehow with the Twitter API was not trivial. But in the end, it works. And for example, I'm using this uh, real-time stream of tweets to trigger some servos according to when a certain keyword gets tweeted from everywhere in the world. So this is just an example of how you can use this, this stuff. But okay, let's see how you can use the Twitter app using this script that I've put it together. So first of all, uh, you need Python on your computer. If you are on a Mac, it's already installed. If you are on a Windows, you probably need to install it. I'm using Python 3.5. So there shouldn't be actually any, any difference between Python 2.5, 2.7, but if there is some difference, it's going to be some small stuff that you can adjust yourself. So first of all, you need to go on the command prompt and you need to install a couple of Python library. So pip install, we need the first library that we need is Tweepy, which is the one that allows us to work with the Twitter API. And then we need Python OSC, which allows us to send the tweets to Max, basically. Okay, so once you downloaded the Python libraries, we have to go inside the Twitter website and copy some keys and tokens in order to authorize our application. So let's see. Uh, you first need to log in with Twitter and then go to this website, uh, HTTP. Uh, apps.twitter.com and you have to create a new app. Once you have created an app, you click on it and you have to go into this page, keys and access tokens, and get four different uh, access uh, keys and tokens. And this, uh, this stuff that you get from there, you have to put inside this file, which is this Twitter API credentials. You have to uh, put your access token key inside the uh, brackets, inside quotes. Here you do access token secret inside quotes here and consumer key and consumer secret as well. And these, all these keys you can get from keys and access tokens here. I'm not clicking on it because I cannot show you my private keys. Okay, and then once you put this stuff in, the, in this file, then you can execute the Python script if you have a Python IDE, you can simply execute the Python script by double-clicking on it. If you don't have this uh, IDE, you can simply go inside the terminal or the command prompt. If you are on Windows, you have to navigate to the, to the position of your folder where the, where the scripts are. And then you have to execute your script using the Python and the name of the script like this and then you press enter and the script starts to execute and to close the script you have to press ctrl c okay we give you this kind of kind of error like but this don't don't ma don't care about this this is just uh, something that comes up when you close the python script with ctrl c okay then if you want to change the keywords 
you had to go inside the uh, streamer tweepy streamer dot uh, pi and you have to change this this variable here keywords for example i can look for my name and then this will look uh, for my name somebody tweets my name of course i don't think a lot of people is going to tweet my name but maybe myself, I tweet my name, me myself. So I just go to tweet and then I say I'm Federico Foderaro, babies. Okay, then I tweet it. Anyway, I just five followers, it's not so embarrassing. And I go into max, uh, the tweet has just been scraped and it's just appeared in the patch. Kind of cool, huh? So yeah, that's it. I'm giving you the Python script, I'm giving you the Twitter receiver, which is basically just a UDP and uh, some root object. And you can use it to access the Twitter API and do what you want with it. So I hope uh, this was uh, useful. Thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao guys. Thank you.